What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's PopeyJM, welcome back to Afterlife, the story of a father. Now, if you're not in for a uh, kind of half an hour non-edited experience today, if you're here for the very high energy videos that I usually do, this is not going to be the video for you. We're jumping back into the story, um, I'm going to keep it relatively unedited, um, unless I get stuck on a certain part, um, but it will be a half an hour pretty much unedited video, so uh, let's jump back in. Alright, we were up to the third part, I believe, in the game. So I did part one and two. Are. Looking blue like saber. Okay. Uh, I'm blue? <laughs> like the sun? I, um, yeah, we were, we did part one and two before, and now we're doing part three. Whoa. What's important is uh, how we get to continue. Well, what's stopping you from just going for it? Yeah. I haven't seen you going in light at all. I do have some unfinished business. What's your unfinished business? I can't go anywhere before it's done. Um, I'm just taking my time with it. Okay. Oh, um, I had no idea. Can I help somehow? Yeah. Oh, it's grand. I'll be fine. And just get your mind straight, will you? You'll proceed once you're finished. Don't, don't mind me. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Sorry I asked. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't be. You're different from the rest. Most souls are troubled by something, you know? They need some time to sort things out. Souls in here have reached the end of certain lifespan on Earth and they're just waiting for it to move on. They're gathering their final thoughts, making sure everything's alright before going ahead. I mean, that's kind of what my guy is doing, I think. You are here because you died prematurely. I can only assume there's plenty of things you would like to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, my, my mind is raising more questions than getting answers. It's just, I'm getting tired. I'm not sure how many times I can do this anymore, it's... I didn't expect this to be so hard, it's... But... But I have to do it. Do your best. Well, I'll, I'll snap you out of it if you start to dig. Okay. I like that. I feel very... I don't know, in a, in a way... Somewhat comforted by... Having the, uh... Having the other souls, for lack of a better word, kind of being here. Am I meant to be going towards the blue or the purple? That's another thing. I think I'm meant to be going towards blue. But, um, if you don't remember from the last episode of this, we, um, we went through, uh, the crash site from memory, and we went, um, we read, um, his daughter had written uh, a letter to him and we're kind of we're hearing the inner monologue of his uh, wife and stuff and how they're all kind of getting on without him which um, that was rough man it was rough okay I just want to see whether I'm meant to be going towards purple again like I did last time no okay so I must have to go towards boy now alright here we go we're quickly approaching blue. So let's see where this... Where this is going to take us this time. Hopefully it's a little bit more positive than the last one. And it doesn't take us through the whole misery and grieving stage. That um, we kind of fell into last time where we saw everybody grieving. Or heard everybody's thoughts while they were grieving. Because that, that was rough. That was rough. Okay, here we go. This looks like... Oh. What? Why did I think of this place? I don't even remember being sick that often. Oh, oh no. Is this what, like, happened? Is this like the hospital right after the crash? Because he died in the car accident, for those of you that don't remember from the, uh, the last episode. Oh, God. 
Jesus. This isn't terrifying at all. God damn. Flowers? Look at the flowers. Um, am I meant to be here or am I meant to be taking off? So oh, okay. I'm guessing I'll go up there then. It's a little eerie to be kind of going through a hospital when there's no one here. Little eerie. Oh no, it won't let me go through, okay. Alright, where am I meant to be? Am I meant to be heading towards... Oh, there's a memory. Okay. It's kind of... It is sad as well. It's really sad. That... He died prematurely, and he's kind of going back, and it's... I don't know. I don't feel like I'd like this. If this is what happened after you died. If you got the opportunity to come back. Vincent. Sounds like Vincent. <laughs> we were like brothers. No wonder he's here. With the years end right around the corner. Oh, God. I would like to think I have started to make some progress. But I haven't. No. These days I can't talk about your death without getting upset. But apparently can't write a single letter without tears. Damn it. Aww. I want to be able to look at people and tell them how you died. Damn. Can't do this now. Ah, uh, I need a drink. Ah, uh, did he fall down that kind of slippery slope of alcoholism? That's rough. I mean, people, that's, this is the interesting thing that this, uh, this game kind of brings up is the, the point that everybody deals with death and the grieving process in different ways to each other. Like, no two people are going to have the same reaction or, uh, emotion. To a death, and I think this game does a really good job, kind of uh, showing that in a realistic way. It's rough, all the same, though. All right. So, I mean, all the other ones, all the other levels have like have had colors associated with them. So I'm guessing green now, from now on, is going to be Vincent. So uh, he seems to have a lot of memories here. Which, um, is either good or terrible. Because I'd hate to, I'd hate to think that all of his memories here are, are just from, I mean, they probably are from that day, but, I don't know. All these people, I, I kind of just want to reach out and give them a hug. Yeah, Vincent again. It's been so hard to pick up the pen, Rick. Hmm. I'm sorry it's been another six months. I've been trying to relieve the guilt of our last meeting when you were alive. Why would happen? It was such a moronic argument I can't even begin to describe it. The fact that I called you every name under the sun turned out to be our last conversation we ever had mm. will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's another thing. The man who never, ever wow. lifted a finger against me left this earth while being angry at me. How could one forgive that to himself? Man, this is so frustrating. I am incredibly sorry that I was never as proud of you as you were of me. Uh -huh. When Simon was born, I should have supported you three more. By the time Sylvie was walking, I should have done something. But I didn't. I couldn't. Wow. I still don't have the answer to what that something could have been. But I just can't shake this feeling I wasn't there for you when you needed a friend. In a decent book, who would have been a great duo? You, the hero, saving the day. <laughs> and me, the sidekick, fighting for the average Joe. But in this one, the sidekick stares as the hero passes away. Read the last words. Reach the back cover. Empty the glass. Exit the stage. 
that brings up a good point as well is that you never want I don't know it, it, this is a big thing for me as well is you don't want to leave a conversation whether it's a loved one a friend no matter who it is that's in your life you never want to leave on an angry note in case something happens it's something I do try to kind of live my life by is leaving everybody hopefully with a positive experience after speaking instead of it being negative because I'd hate for that very reason I my biggest fear is having that happen where the last conversation I've had with someone is negative and then either them or I you know something happens so I don't know that's some that's that hits home because that's something I do try to live my life by a little bit Simon I don't think we've met Simon Hi, yet. Pops. How's things? How's the bed? Not too hard, I hope. I just had a chat with one of the doctors here. She said you were brought in in a rather bad condition, and that things aren't looking all that great. Okay. They said stuff about internal bleeding. Something ruptured somewhere and other stuff. I stopped listening after a while as I realized she's only smooth talking to me about the inevitable. Okay. You taught me to be rational. I know and I remember how you always said to keep a cool head no matter what the situation. But you never prepared me to face the music when my teacher, my best friend, would be gone and couldn't tell me what to do. Mm. Am I to take over the role of the man in the house now? Is the family now on my shoulders? What am wow. I supposed to do? What, what are we supposed to do? It's very true. If only you could answer me now. Mm. That's rough. That's really rough. Alright, next one. Simon must have... Must have been coming here every day on... Ah, I skipped it. Shit. Ah, uh, sorry guys. I just bumped the fucking button. Sorry. God damn. No memories over here? There we go. Simon. Hi, Pops. How's things? Everything all right here? You're not flirting with the nurses, are you? <laughs> of course you aren't. You wouldn't do that to Mum. Not in a million years. You once said that other men judge your character based on how you talk about your lady. If that's true, you must have been wow. getting some yeah. pretty good feedback from everyone. Not even once have I seen Mum sat around you. That's even nice. On that one That's Christmas good. When Anon tried to run away chasing that truck, and you two had to run after it. I didn't even see a frown. How did you do that? I don't know. How could I do it? I don't know. Hmm. Last night I heard clearly through the walls that she was crying. Aww. I was scared, Dad. What well, What was I supposed to do? Naturally, I, I didn't want her to cry, but. I'm used to seeing her so strong around you, and yeah. I honestly didn't know what to say to her. I ended up staying in my room like a proper coward. That's alright, then. Oh, she's coming in with Sylvie now. She told me that they were coming in later, but I guess Sylvie got off school early. I'll come back tomorrow at the same time, Pops. I have to get to practice. We've got some rookies on the team, and we need to show them the ropes. Maybe some exercise will get my thoughts running. Who knows? Later, Pops. I'll be back in tomorrow. No, oh, was I not there tomorrow? Is that where this story is going? There's the football. <sighs> Man. This is rough. This is rough to play through. This is rough to... It's just rough. God, he spent a lot of time here. Hi, Pops. How's things? Are the nurses treating you well? Are you treating them well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Today, some of my mates tried asking about you and your condition, and I didn't know what to answer to them. I just said you were in the hospital for now, and no one would know how long you're going to stay here. When I walked in, the same nurse came to me again. 
according to her, your situation hasn't changed. Mm. It's as bad as it was when you were brought in two days ago. Pops, you ain't really getting any better. Remember that time when I was sick home with fever? You left work early to take care of me. Aww. Today I thought about your laugh and I came to the horrifying realization that I can't remember what it sounds like. Aww. I just don't Yeah, that's me. a hard part. I felt paralyzed with this shame and disbelief, as if I couldn't recognize my own face. I closed my eyes, tried to silence the room around me. I took a deep breath and pictured your smile. It's much like mine, with less of beard, of course. But I couldn't hear your laughter. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't hear it. Dad, I tried. I really did. I feel like it's not so much to ask that I just hear it once more. Just once. Why? Why my father? My wonderful, empathetic, silly dad. It never made sense to me. It, but never will. Not everything happens for a reason. I've learned that it's something I must accept. It sounds like something you would have tried to teach me down the road. Hey, I'll try to bring Suzanne with me tomorrow. I still haven't told her what's happening to you. I'll go pick her up now, as Mum couldn't get the car running. Later, Pops. I'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> That's, um... <clears throat> that one hits a little bit... close to home. Um... I had a buddy of mine... I don't think I've ever spoken about this. Do I want to speak about this? Ah, screw it. I had a, a buddy of mine in 2015 that um, was in hospital for about two days after a suicide attempt. And um, he never he never regained consciousness. Um, and I feel the same, I want the same feelings that this character is going through where I mean, I'm a little bit luckier in the fact that he was also in the YouTube space and the public space, so I can always go back and watch so much of his content, which I do very frequently watch all of his stuff, and it always puts a smile on my face, but I feel the same thing, where it's when they're gone, you, don't, you start to lose little things here and there, you, you start to lose, um, I don't know, personality things, like what their wife was and, and different things like that, so that, that just, that really hit home for me just then, that, um, yeah, that, that really hit home. But let's move on, because um, <clears throat> if I don't, then we're, we're not going to get through this video, I don't think, so. Everybody check out the pooper. <laughs> oh, there's one under the bed, okay. That's the one I'm missing. Oh, it's an alcohol bottle. Hi, Pops. How's things? I think. Suzanne asked me this morning at the breakfast table where you are. It's been four days, and we still haven't had the guts to tell her what's going on. Aww. Right then and there, I thought I should make up a short story about how you suddenly went to the long trip with Vincent, or that you were at Uncle Rob's place, helping them around. Mm. Sylvie stopped me before I could say anything and put it bluntly. Dad's seeing a doctor. As you know, she hates doctors, though she just asks us, why are you being tortured like that? <laughs> Isn't an hour trip to the doctor enough? That must have been the first time in these four days we've actually laughed at home. <laughs> mm. That's nice. Pops, the nurse told me we need to make a decision soon. Mm. It's apparently too dangerous to move you to a smaller hospital. You can't be taken to home care and they still can't see any brain activity. What they're asking us to decide is whether or not you'll be kept alive, and I don't have the answer. How could I? Your heart's still beating. How could your brain couldn't catch on some days? What if we just give it some more time, like a year? 
I can keep visiting you every day like this if that's what's needed. Hmm. It's not practical <sighs> though. Won't if it's not working. You always told me to keep it cool and be rational when it comes to tough decisions. Yeah. Well, here I am. At least trying not to lose my cool. I do know what's going to happen. I just don't know how to live with it. You get through it, buddy. Mum? You Mom? can do it. How long have you been standing there? That's rough. That's real rough. What else? Hi, Pops. How's things? Is your pillow alright? Is your neck hurt? You wouldn't know, right? If you would, you couldn't tell me, right? Mm. And if you could, you would say stuff like, Men don't feel pain, son. We're strong like that. Strong for our ladies. Like I can hear we Rick in the background, so is he about to be pulled out? We were going to have a few more camping trips before school would start, remember? We never visited Uncle Rob and Mayo either, despite having that weekend free. I don't resent you for those things. I never did, and I never will. Right now, there are days I was unable to spend with you, and I blame myself for not giving you as much time as you deserved. Hmm. Pops, I came over to talk to you and tell you what's going on. We are going to pull the intubation tube out of you mm. in a bit. You most likely won't be able to breathe on your own after that. To maintain the promise we made in Kildare that day, I will not let them keep you in the state anymore. You never wanted to be an empty shell. A vegetable. Like you phrase it. That's such a you hard won't decision. Be with any longer after a while, and I wanted to be the one to tell you. We will take your ashes to the park in Newbridge. Rob said that's where you met Mum for the first time. Aww. Mum's doing fine, by the way. She wants to speak with you as well, I'm sure. So I think I'll be heading out now. The nurse will come by soon with the drop to make sure you don't feel a thing. Don't fight it when it happens. We will all be there. Aww. Take care, pops, and. I'll see you out there one day. Don't be afraid to leave us behind. I love you. <sighs> That's heavy. That's, um... <clears throat> oh, here we go. So rough. You returned. Any questions this time? My choices, my emotions, what I, what I learned, none of it matters. What do you mean? Of course they matter. No. As in, I'll forget everything. When I'm, when I'm reborn, I'll be a toddler again. I won't have any memories or skills. All I've learned in my previous day. I won't be able to recognize people that I've seen. All the music will all be new to me. Does that make this life cycle absolutely pointless? That's absolute nonsense. You do have all the experiences, memories, and knowledge from your previous lives. It's alright if you don't remember them right now. They'll come to you when they need to. Hmm. I'm sure you sometimes have picked up a hobby on Earth and just, it just felt natural to you. I know that we're doing part 4, but I do want to end it after this dialogue's finished, because I want to do part 4 as a separate video. I think that's a better way to break this up. Because I don't want these videos to be too long for you guys. He was a natural from the beginning. Exactly. So what else was on your mind, Rick? Go on. Tell me. Well, everyone else. Hmm. Their souls. What will happen to them? Will. Will I ever meet them again? Will they remember me after they've passed away? You must have stayed somewhere great while you were out there to have connections this strong to your loved ones. Yes, you might meet them again. All of you can be out there above or in your next life. 
it's all up to you with whom you spend your time with. Such an... This is... It's, I see. As I said in the last video, it's such an interesting game. I don't have the breath anymore. But I feel like... I feel like I'm out of breath now. That means you're at the end of your strength. Are you ready to go? The time's passed and you might not have that much strength left anyway. Hmm. There's a new time and place where you can gain life again. Oh, maybe this is it. No. Not yet. Please. Please. My wife, Shauna. I need to know. I need to know what happened to her. Did she get better? How's my son? Simon. I can't go anywhere before I know what happened to everyone. <laughs> you really did need some wonderful souls on your short journey. Very well. There's still some strength in you. Maybe you can try to focus one more time. Are you up for it? I was born ready, Mr. M. Uh, M. Oh, um, watching him again, friend. You never told me that. Hmm, that's an interesting. Not important. Is that like his dad nice or meet something? You, not important. Come on, no, for real this time. You've helped me a lot. I'd like to know your name. I was called Gavin. Gavin. Okay, Gavin. Thank you, Gavin. I'll see you again in a bit. I'm gonna wave this here. As I said, I feel like I want to break this up. And that got really heavy. Um, during that part. So we've got one more section to go. Um, I do want to wave it here and kind of break it up in that way. Because as I said, I don't want these videos to be too long. But they're also really emotional. So I don't want, you know, an hour or so of just really deep emotional stuff on the channel because I feel like I'm going to be drained if I do that and I feel like you guys watching it will be drained at least this way you know we can break it up a little bit more and kind of just um, experience this in small doses that we can all kind of handle but anyway I am going to leave this here it's an interesting game it's an interesting game it's an interesting perspective on um, this topic and it's a very unique take on this topic I think I haven't really seen a game quite like this um, before so I think the the developers here have hit on something real special um, and I encourage everybody here to go off and check out this game for themselves. It'll be linked in the description as it always is. Um, and we'll come back and finish the last part in a couple of days. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as you can with, with such a heavy topic. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, if you like what I do here, you want to see more, check all the links in the description to see more. Make sure you're sharing these videos with your friends on social media if you enjoy them, because it really does help me out as well to kind of reach and connect with a new audience, which is always helpful. But thank you guys for being part of the channel as always. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, I'm YouTube's Poppy JN. Peace out. Oh, when love stories seem to end so long before.